Now I'm going to put this leaf in. So I'm going to drop it into non digitizing um non simulated stitch mode and pick up my satin option in the column tool, name my first node, second node, third node, and I've got to trap these end stitches in. So I'm just going to hit my B key in MBX that allows me to drop my tool and I can either tap on the screen with my left mouse key which will blow it up or use this up here so drop that back down to there and then I hit my escape key to get my tool back and I must trap those end stitches and I want to sneeze so excuse me <coughs> oh I don't know where that snuck up from now this gets narrow as it goes down and you can see I'm already magnified so I'm laying mine with an angle so as my stitch lengths don't get too short and then I want to finish this which I have to be careful now because I want to be able to come up to that with a straight satin stitch I'm just going to backspace these a bit. I have to forget my angles. But one of the nice things about MBX is it tells you what width your stitch is before you drop the node in. And what we don't want is too narrow a stitch. I'm going to drop that onto that line, bring it over to here, and that tells me that one is 2.56, which is okay. There's the top of my leaf just touching the end of that petal there. So now I want my run line tool, and I drop a line from here down out to the corner there enter that and I pick up the satin tool again and I start down here I come up to here or across rather straight up and right mouse node there right mouse node here get in there just invade the bottom of that bring it over to here and then finish that off and before I go any further I'm going to set the size on this one or the density rather that one Hold down control, highlight that one, come into object reshape, object details, Mikey. bring that down to about 97. Tell that OK. I don't want it too heavy. My machine doesn't like it heavy. It actually objects. So let's just drop that down. And there it is. Now, whether my density is correct or not, I won't know until I go to stitch it out. That's what will tell me. I can't see here on the screen if this is dense enough or loose enough. I have to see it stitched. I'm going to blow this back up because I'm not too certain about this bit here, it's got a flat end. 
So I'm going to highlight that one, go into reshape. Yes, it's got a very flat end. And then tell that stop. That's better. OK, now we're set up to come up here and out onto that one. So, let's take this up, bring back the graphic, go back into non-simulated stitch view, pick up my tool and right into the centre of that digitising maze and start clicking up and I'm using right mouse clicks and then slightly angling my fill I've got to trap this end stitching and I've got to get up onto that petal up here like so. And that's a little bit empty. So, highlight it. Hmm. Maybe I need to take that one up there and that one down here. I don't like the turn on that though. Let's bring you back into there and elongate you up to there. just altering the angle of my fill that's better, now that actually mirrors that side I'm just going to tell that stop right, that will do for that and I've obviously come out too far here so I highlight that I'm going back out of simulated stitch mode into reshape I'm going to magnify this back up oops right just bring him in Is that matching that trace line better? I need to get rid of my graphic to see where my original trace line was. That's my original trace line in there. So let's just move him onto the trace line. And take a look at that. Oh, that's a weird shape there, isn't it? I don't like weird shapes. I curve you out a bit. That's better now, it's a nice smooth line. And now you can't see a break coming up here. Right, let's drop it back down, move back up, and in the next video we'll put the fringing around the edge. Now you might think having green fringing is weird, but hang on. <laughs>